May and Jesse. This photograph is very rare. It is a portrait of May and Jesse Wilbur. They were the two oldest of the four children of Henrietta and Miller Wilbur. All four children died within a week of one another in January of 1893. They were stricken by a malady, some refer to as black diphtheria. Miller's father owned the Swift Mansion, Rosedale, that was located in Swift's Hollow on Gore Road just south of Vermilion. Some misinformed folks are under the impression that the children all died when the family lived there and that they were buried in the valley along the river. Harriet and Wilbur did live there with his parents for a very short time. This misinformation has been partially responsible for the urban legend surrounding the Hope and Light Orphanage, commonly called the Gore Orphanage, that has been widely circulated in the region for decades. While the precise information is sketchy, it is more likely that the children died in either Berlin Heights or at their home in Vermilion. Mrs. Wilbur was a Berlin Heights native, her family was named Kellogg. In any case, by the time John Sprunger and his wife came from Indiana to establish their orphanage in the Hollow, the Wilbur family had been gone from there for some time. Jesse was 11 and May was 9 when they were stricken. Their twin brother and sister were but two years of age. Mr. Wilbur later ran a hardware store where Tiffany's Flower Shop is currently located. Both he and his wife died in 1930. I am told by those who knew them, that they were very kindly persons. This photograph acquired from Roberta Riley of California is a real keeper for collectors. The story surrounding this family is immensely interesting.